Stormy seas aren't just confined to the northeast coast of Britain. We get more than our fair share of wild weather blowing in from the west. The jet stream is a fast-flowing ribbon of air which meanders its way across the Atlantic Ocean. Storms, pressure systems, they get caught up in the jet stream which moves at around 200 miles an hour high up in the atmosphere and that actually acts like a bit of a conveyor belt. So we can get you know, a number of areas of low pressure moving across the Atlantic Ocean. And this year, one area of low pressure that moved in from the south delivered Storm Emma to the shores of North Wales. Hollyhead Harbour bore the brunt, with 80 mile per hour winds smashing into the marina. Over 80 boats were damaged, and several of them sank. But if that's what happens in this relatively safe haven, what about when a storm hits in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean? That's exactly what happened to best friends Tom and Lawrence. Tom and Lawrence had decided to row more than 4,000 miles from New York to Devon to raise money for charity. We had some extremely good periods of weather, like, you know, really nice balmy conditions. And then also some of the worst conditions I've ever experienced. We thought we might get, you know, half a dozen stormy patches throughout the trip, and we had probably in, it, in excess of, like, 30. But two months into their trip, and 2,000 miles away from dry land, they got word over the radio that there was a huge storm heading their way. We realised it was putting in pretty serious, so put everything down below because stuff could just be ripped off and the wind strengths we were expecting. This is like the windiest I've ever seen in my whole life. Jack Cavendall is not coming over. Halfway across the Atlantic Ocean, Tom and Lawrence were about to be hit by a mid-latitude cyclone. There's nothing you can do about it because you can't row around a weather system. It's just far too big. The friends were powerless. You're being smashed by the storm. You're constantly being battered. You have no power against the ocean. You're being tossed around, no control over what's happening. With winds in excess of 80 miles per hour, all they could do was barricade themselves inside the cabin and hope to ride it out. In the peak of this storm, we've got these huge barreling waves up to like 90, 100 feet high and a wavelength of like 100 meters. There, there's nothing you can do. The storm lasted a full three days and nights. But just as they were fearing how much more the boat could take, the storm began to move on. After three days, uh, we were finally able to get outside, and the relief is like, it was really comforting to be able to like stand up and like stretch. It's nice to be alive as well. It's, it's nice to know you're alive. After 93 days at sea, Tom and Lawrence finally arrived at their destination of Devon. <laughs> Despite going through a near-death experience, Tom and Lawrence prefer to look back at the positives. It would have been a bit rubbish if it was all too easy. Yeah, 100%. If you don't go through those situations where you're nearly swept away, then you don't realise how amazing life is. Oh, no.